Everyone probably already knows what's roughly happening around GTA 6, so I won't drag it out and let's move on to the most important things related to police features in the upcoming game. First up, the 5 stars wanted level from GTA 5 is making a comeback, bringing back intense police pursuits and escalating levels of law enforcement response. While fans have been eagerly anticipating the return of the 6 stars wanted level from GTA San Andreas, there hasn't been any footage yet to confirm its presence in GTA 6. However, it's worth noting that the appearance of the 5 stars wanted level could potentially potentially be a placeholder, hinting at the possibility that Rockstar Games might still surprise players with the return of the iconic Six Stars system. The Six Stars wanted level in GTA San Andreas introduced additional challenges and chaos as players faced not only aggressive police forces but also the formidable might of the military. One thing is certain, Rockstar Games' decision regarding the wanted level system will shape the gameplay dynamics in GTA 6. Whether it's sticking to the action-packed five stars or surprising us with the grand return of the legendary Six stars, I have no doubt that the team at Rockstar will deliver some really good intense police chases to the game. One aspect that's getting a significant upgrade in the upcoming game is the police response time. Picture this, you've bumped into another vehicle, and instead of the flashing sirens and immediate presence of the law enforcement, the response time reflects what you might expect in real life. I gotta say, this adds a whole new level of realism to the game that we haven't seen before. Rockstar is really putting in the effort to make the world of GTA 6 feel more like our own. So when you find yourself in a fender bender, don't expect flashing sirens and a swarm of police cars descending upon you like a pack of hungry wolves. Instead, you'll experience a response time similar to what you'd encounter in real life. Now, I can already hear some of you asking, why would I want to wait around for the cops to arrive? Isn't that boring? Trust me, I had the same thought at first, but think about it for a sec. The response time won't be the same for every type of crime. Just like in the real world, law enforcement resources are prioritized based on the severity of the situation. So, if you're involved in a minor fender bender or a small-scale crime, the police won't be rushing to your location like it's the end of the world. Of course, this doesn't mean that GTA 6 will lack those exhilarating high-speed pursuits we all love. When things escalate and the crimes become more serious, you better believe the police will be hot on your tail. They won't hesitate to bring out the big guns and unleash their full force to apprehend you. Let's shift gears and talk about one of the most impressive upgrades in GTA 6, the police AI. Rockstar Games has truly gone above and beyond to make the virtual law enforcement in this game smarter, more aware, and downright impressive. First things first, the police in GTA 6 are no longer mere virtual puppets mindlessly chasing after you. Oh no, my friends. These virtual officers have received a significant brain boost. They're now equipped with advanced AI algorithms that make them smarter than ever before. They can adapt to changing situations, assess threats, and respond accordingly. It's almost as if you're dealing with real-life law enforcement. One of the standout features of this upgraded police AI is their heightened awareness of their surroundings. They no longer have tunnel vision solely focused on your character. Now cops have their eyes wide open, scanning the environment and taking note of everything that's happening. They'll notice if you're hiding behind cover, they'll track your movements, and they'll even coordinate with their fellow officers to surround you strategically. But wait, it gets even better. The police in GTA 6 are not just concerned about apprehending you, they genuinely care about their colleagues. Imagine this, you're in the middle of a chaotic shootout, bullets flying left and right, and your character manages to land a hit on one of the officers. Now normally nothing special would happen, but in GTA 6, cops will risk their own safety to provide aid and support to their fallen colleagues. Now let's talk about those minor police chases. We've all been there, right? In GTA 6, the police AI adds a touch of humanity to these encounters. Instead of instantly escalating escalating the situation and raining bullets upon you, they'll give you a chance to surrender, just like in the previous GTAs. Next feature will be related to the surrender thing. Now, I must stress that this is just a rumor, as it wasn't visible in the leaked footage. I'm talking about the potential inclusion of a jail system. Picture this, the game's story could kick off with a bang, or rather, a cell door slamming shut. The rumor suggests that Lucia, one of the protagonists, starts her journey in the unlikeliest of places, jail but she won't be languishing behind bars for long. The theory proposes that Lucia will make a daring escape from prison, with the Jason's second protagonist's help. Now, the concept of a jail system in GTA 6 opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Imagine having to navigate your way through a highly secured prison, outsmarting guards, and avoiding detection. The previous GTA started with the robbery, so why not start the upcoming GTA with the prison escape? Rockstar could even go further with that idea and implement it to the normal gameplay. So, after surrendering to the police, police, we'd end up being in jail. But here's the big question. How will Rockstar Games implement this feature without making it too tedious for players? 
After all, we don't want to spend all our time stuck behind bars, right? And there are even more questions appearing. Will escaping from jail have lasting consequences, or will it affect the way NPCs interact with us? Will our actions within the prison walls come back to haunt us in unexpected ways? Well, since it's just a theory, there's no definite answer, so we'll find out soon. Maybe we'll learn something from the upcoming GTA 6 trailer. Another exciting feature is that the police will now remember your vehicle model and plate number. Say goodbye to the days of simply respraying your car during a chase and watching the police lose track of you. This new addition is a game changer that will take police pursuits to a whole new level of immersion and challenge. In previous GTA games, one thing that always felt a little unrealistic was the police's ability to lose track of us as soon as we changed the color of our car. Those days of easy escapes are long gone. With vehicle recognition in GTA 6, Six, the police will be a force to be reckoned with. They'll be able to track your vehicle regardless of how many times you respray it or change its appearance. So, if you think a quick color swap will throw them off your trail, think again. No longer can we rely solely on a cosmetic change to evade the long arm of the law. Instead, we'll need to employ different tactics such as switching vehicles or finding alternative ways to shake off the relentless pursuit. Your choice of vehicle becomes more critical than ever as they'll be on the lookout for a specific model and plate number. Will you opt for a fast sports car to outrun them, or perhaps a sturdy SUV to withstand their relentless pursuit. The choice is yours. But remember, the police in GTA 6 won't be easily fooled. Speaking of fooling the police, CCTV cameras in GTA 6 are functional. I've mentioned this exciting addition in my previous videos, but it's worth delving into the details once again. In the upcoming game, these CCTV cameras won't just be for show. They'll be fully functional, capturing your every move and recording your crimes for all to see. You see, if you want to delay the police response and buy yourself some precious time, you'll need to take a proactive approach and locate and destroy these watchful eyes before committing any crime. Finding and destroying these cameras will become a crucial part of your criminal strategy. You'll need to study the environment, scout the area, and locate every surveillance device. Probably one of the protagonist's special abilities will help finding the cameras. Store robberies in GTA 6 are also going to be more detailed and realistic. You know those moments in previous GTA when you would walk into a gas station with your gun pointed at the cashier, and he would immediately start packing up the money for you? Well, those days of easy loot are long gone. In GTA 6, the NPCs will be more attuned to the dangers lurking around them. No longer will they simply comply with your demands without question. They'll be on high alert, aware of the risks involved, and ready to react in various ways. You'll need to be extra cautious and aware of the bystanders in the vicinity as their actions could impact the outcome of your heist. The NPC's reactions will vary, ranging from fear to defiance. Some may comply, while others may attempt to stall, bargain, or even trigger a silent alarm to alert the authorities. And let's not forget about the police response. In GTA 6, the police won't just mindlessly rush into the store, guns blazing. When a store robbery goes down, the police will likely surround the premises, creating a strategic trap that makes it much harder for you to escape. It's a more calculated approach that mirrors the real-life tactics law enforcement would employ in such situations. From what we've seen in the leaked Waffle House robbery clip from the dev gameplay footage, it's clear that Rockstar Games is putting a great deal of effort into making the police response as realistic as possible. Instead of blindly charging into the building, the police officers yell at the player to surrender from outside, employing verbal commands to de-escalate the situation. This time around, the police will actually act like police. They'll analyze the situation, Devise a strategy and attempt to bring about a peaceful resolution. But don't let that fool you into thinking it'll be a walk in the park. Their presence will be felt, and escaping the crime scene won't be as easy as it used to be. We've seen a progression from GTA 5 to RDR 2 where law enforcement becomes more determined to hunt you down as you rack up a higher bounty on your head. In GTA 6, your criminal activities will also have lasting consequences. Even after losing your wanted level, you'll still be known to the authorities for the crimes you've committed. Also, accumulating a bounty on your head will serve as a constant reminder that the authorities are hot on your trail. Perhaps you'll receive notifications or news reports highlighting the increasing sum of money offered for your capture. But what if you want to turn the tables? What if you're tired of constantly looking over your shoulder, evading the law? There's an interesting idea that Rockstar could implement a system where you can pay off your bounty, just like in RDR2. Since the game takes place in the modern times, we probably need a bit more updated version, like paying a hacker to hack into the police database to erase your file. Finally, it seems that Rockstar is finally using the level of hostility feature that's been hidden in the game files for so long. The police won't immediately open fire on you for merely having a two-star wanted level. Based on leaks and insider information, it appears that the police 
police will only shoot back if provoked, giving players a chance to de-escalate the situation without bloodshed. If you have seen the leaked diner robbery footage, you probably remember that as Lucia and Jason, our intrepid protagonists, made their move, the police arrived on the scene. But instead of instantly unleashing a hail of bullets, the police officers hesitated, exhibiting a commendable restraint. The police officers in GTA 6 will take into consideration the safety of innocent lives. Let me know if you found out something new thanks to this video or if you already knew those facts about cops in GTA 6. I'm also curious if you spotted anything in the leaked videos that I didn't mention in today's video. And let me know what other things related to the police should appear in GTA 6 as well. And before we wrap up, I would like to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. Thanks to you, I'm able to create these videos and I'm very grateful to you for that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be updated about my next videos. Thanks for watching till the end. Have a great day everyone and see you in the next one.